ever tiptoed across a wooden floor in the middle of the night, only for it to loudly betray your every step with a creak that could wake the entire neighborhood? It's one of those tiny, everyday mysteries we accept as normal. Wooden floors creaking. But have you ever wondered why that happens? Is it just old age? Poor construction? Ghosts, perhaps? Let's put those spooky suspicions aside and explore the real science structure and natural behavior of wood that makes our floors complain with every step over time. Right here on History of Simple Things. To really understand why wooden floors start creaking, we need to appreciate that wood is, in many ways, a living material, even after it's been cut, dried, and installed. Wood is hygroscopic, meaning it constantly absorbs and releases moisture from the environment around it. That might not sound like a big deal, but this constant exchange with humidity makes wood expand and contract ever so slightly, like it's breathing with the seasons. In summer, with high humidity, wooden floorboards might swell. In winter, they tend to shrink as the air gets dry. These changes are usually small, but over years they add up. This movement can cause the boards to rub against each other or against the nails and screws that hold them down, resulting in those unmistakable creaks. Now let's talk about how wooden floors are built because the structure plays a big role in how they sound. Most wooden floors aren't just a layer of pretty hardwood planks on top. They're built in layers, joists, subfloor, underlayment, and finally the visible surface. Each layer is made from different materials, and as they settle and shift independently, gaps can form between them. Over time, these gaps introduce points of friction. When you step on a certain spot, you're essentially compressing years of natural movement between layers. If any layer isn't perfectly flat, or if the fasteners like nails and screws have loosened a bit with time, the result is a creak. Think of it as your floor whispering its long history with every footstep. Of course, Time is the ultimate culprit. Even the best laid floors are not immune to the effects of decades of use. Every footstep presses the boards down ever so slightly, stressing the joints and the hardware used to hold everything together. As screws loosen or nails wiggle slightly free, boards begin to lift, shift, and flex in ways they weren't originally designed to. When that happens, even a light step can trigger a noise. And here's the interesting part. The noise doesn't always come from the spot you step on. Vibrations can travel through the structure and make it sound like the floor is groaning in another corner of the room. It's like a ventriloquist act. Your floor is creaking over here, but the real action might be over there. Another surprisingly overlooked reason wooden floors creak more over time has less to do with the materials and more with how we live. The way furniture is arranged and how people move through a space affects the wear and tension on different parts of the floor. High traffic areas, like hallways, kitchen entrances, or the path from your couch to the fridge, naturally experience more stress than corners or unused guest rooms. Over years, that repeated stress can cause subtle warping or loosen boards in those specific zones. And heavy furniture, especially if it's been sitting in the same spot for ages, can compress the wood beneath it unevenly. This uneven pressure can cause surrounding boards to flex or shift slightly when weight is applied nearby. So yes, even your cozy reading chair or that old bookshelf could be part of your floor's creaky chorus. Not all wooden floors are created equal, and the type of wood you have can make a big difference in whether your floor stays quiet or becomes a squeaky storyteller. Softer woods like pine or fir are more prone to denting and warping under pressure, 
which means they can start shifting and squeaking sooner. Hardwoods like oak or maple tend to hold up better, though they're not completely immune to creaks. Engineered wood floors, which consist of layers of wood pressed together, are generally more stable, but they can still creak if installed over uneven surfaces or without proper underlayment. Even the thickness of the planks matters. Thinner boards are more flexible and likely to shift. So, the kind of wood you walk on plays a bigger role than you might think in whether you hear silence or a symphony of squeaks. While we often think of creaky floors as a nuisance, there's also something charming about them. In older homes especially, those creaks are like a soundtrack to the building's life. Every groan and pop is a reminder that the house has been lived in, that countless steps have been taken, stories have unfolded, and time has left its fingerprint in the wood. There's a kind of poetry in that. Sure, newer floors might be quieter, but older ones have a voice. And for some, that voice is part of the home's soul. So what if the charm is worn off and you're ready for silence? Can you fix creaky wooden floors? The answer is yes, sometimes. If you can locate the exact source of the noise, there are a few tricks. You can sprinkle talcum powder or powdered graphite between the boards to reduce friction. If the subfloor is the problem, it might be a matter of re-securing it with screws from below. In extreme cases, floorboards may need to be lifted and reinstalled. But often, a bit of creaking is just something we live with, like a familiar squeaky door or an old radio with a bit of static. It's part of the experience. So the next time you tiptoe across your wooden floor and it lets out that familiar creak, like a whispered secret beneath your feet, try not to see it as a flaw. That sound isn't a defect. It's not your house falling apart. It's simply your floor being honest. Wood, after all, isn't a static material. It moves, it shifts, it remembers. Every board in your home once stood tall as part of a tree, rooted in the soil, exposed to wind, sun, rain, and time. That legacy doesn't just disappear once it's milled and nailed into your living room. Instead, it keeps reacting, stretching in the summer, tightening in the winter, pushing and pulling, as if still breathing in rhythm with the earth. The creaks you hear are reminders of that ongoing life, of the organic nature of the material beneath you. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.